Today on Hi Now, we're highlighting the hottest local gifts this year with our holiday picks. And get a taste of Hawaii Island on this edition of Farmer's Market Finds. Plus, we visit small local businesses you gotta check out in my hometown of Kailua. This and more right now on Hi Now. I'm Rachel Picaro. Kainoa's got the day off, but I've got two wonderful ladies in studio with me. I've got Lele and I've got Cassandra. They are behind Noel Designers. I'm sure you've been to a couple of their stores because <laughs> they've got two of them, Ala Moana and Kamakana Ali. It's so nice having you ladies today. Mahalo for having us. And thank you for not leaving me hanging. Kainoa's awesome. You're going to be uh, my host for today. Yes. At least the first portion of this. <laughs> so tell, a little, tell us a little bit about Noel Designers and what you folks carry. So we opened up in six years ago at Kamakana Ali'i. We had like a really small store by the center stage and we outgrew them really quickly and now we have a really bigger store at Kamakana Ali'i. And then this year we, we expanded to Ala Moana Center. We're on the third floor Makai Eva Wing of the Ala Moana Center. So yeah, two stores to serve our community. Awesome, you said you outgrew it and it's because you guys carry over a hundred local um, companies, uh, made in Hawaii products, all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, no wonder you grew out of it, you needed to expand, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, still too nice. Uh, <laughs> anything can you think of, we have it in the stores. Awesome, and we love that. It's a place where it's a, kind of a one-stop shop where you can support mm -hmm. local and really go at it when it comes to some of the Hawaii made products. Right now we've got some stuff on the table and this is part of our High Now holiday pick. So we're making it easy all on the table, some great gift ideas. Mm -hmm. So tell me uh, if you could run through some of the products that you brought today. We'd love to hear it. Go on that side. Um, okay, so over here we have our Lohala um, Jade Wrap Bangles. Um, in store, they range sizes from seven and a half to nine. And when you put them on, uh, each one is unique. It's um, different designs, different Ooh. shades of color. So definitely stop by and see. I love that. I love how it's uh, different different colors and then you also have the lohala. It gives it just this extra feel to it. I love that. Yes, very pretty, very and pretty. on any arm. <laughs> 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 and then we also have over here, um, Hot Hill Hawaiian Crafts. Um, his shells is 80% of his shells are Ni'ihau. They come from Ni'ihau. And we have his chokers, we have his resin earrings, and then we also have his small um, little Li'i -E earrings over there. Beautiful. I mean, for Tutu, for Auntie, for Uncle Even. Everybody yes. can benefit from having one of these bracelets or even that the shell around the neck. I love that. Mm -hmm. And then we've also got some stuff in the front for the keiki, for our pets at home. Tell me about them. So this here is our perpetual calendar. So the cute thing about this, you can customize it. So here at the top, you can change whatever you want to put at the top, and then you can change the, the um, decal here on the side. But the great thing about this is that it, it never goes, it never um, dies out because every month you can change it. You just move, slide this over and slide it to the month that you're in. And then you have the calendar for that particular month. So it just continues on with this, this calendar. We love these calendars. So you That's can cut them awesome. Yeah. And you can have it for years to come. So yes. it's perfect. It's like the gift that you can have that keeps on giving. giving. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, this is Palaka Manapool bags. And so they're, they're so cute because they come in different colors. And you open them, they look like manapuas, but when you open them, they're little totes. Oh, I love that. So great for stocking stuffers, and um, I think palaka is kind of the rage right now. Oh, it is, yeah, for so sure. These are really cute. Loving it, loving all those colors. And then of course, we have stuff for the pets. We've got uh, this one here, yep. this and bark. You open this little uh, lao lao, and you're gonna get a little piggy inside. It's so, so cute. <laughs> then we've also got this little musubi right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love that. Oh my gosh. So much stuff at Noel Designer, so you have to go ahead and check them out. Uh, if, again, Kamakana Ali and Ala Moana Center. You want to go and check out one of those stores, and we're going to help you out because you guys graciously gave over $100 a gift card, and we want you guys, one of you out there, lucky winner, to go ahead and win it if you want to get a chance at that. You all, you, all you have to do is go to our Hi Now Instagram. You're gonna like the post and then you go ahead and tag two friends and you can win that $100 gift card. I mean, Noel Designers, they're helping you out for everybody in the family. You're gonna get a gift, walk out, everything, all done.
for your holiday shopping, right? Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you ladies so much for joining me today. Appreciate you being here with me. Thank you for having us. Awesome, and um, I know we're talking about Christmas, but we can't skip over Thanksgiving. We've got some tips on how you can carve up that turkey and get one from Foodland. Check it out. Hey, how's it all gang? Today on High Now, we're in the High Now kitchen. We got Chef Keone Chang hey. back with us. How's it? Always good to see you. That means we're eating good. And Foodland's got a special message this holiday season. What is it? It's eat, drink, share, and be merry. So, so what's that all about? What does that mean? Well, to you? I mean at Foodland, you know, we're all about the holiday season. It's also about being with your family and your friends and sharing, and of course, being happy and enjoying. And one way to enjoy and be happy is take the stress out of the kitchen, and mm -hmm. Foodland is making it very easy this holiday season. We gotta make sure that my Cutty account is good to go, because how come? Go to foodland.com and re-register so you can get all your my Cutty points so that you can use your 500 points to get a free turkey. A free turkey this holiday yeah. season. How good is that? Exactly. Okay, now before exactly. we get into the cooking yeah. and making that turkey beautiful and brown like we yes. see it now, yes. what is the process, Chef? What yeah, is absolutely. the tip for cooking a good turkey? Okay, so let's talk turkey here. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to get your free turkey, right? Your 500 points. Then you're going to take, it's going to be frozen. And so what you're going to want to do is you got to defrost. And what you really need to do is, for safety, defrost it in your refrigerator. Take it out of the wrapper and then let it sit in your refrigerator and let it air dry. By letting it air dry, all this skin will become really crispy when you roast it. So defrost it, air dry it, right? Now when it's time to roast it, 350 degrees in your oven, and then you're gonna go ahead and season it. You can put some oil on it or butter, or melted butter if you want to. Then you get it in the oven, and you're gonna let it roast. And when you're doing a turkey, not to stuff it. Make the dressing on the side. And you wanna use the leaf in the thickest part of the leg, but not hitting the bone, or in the really fleshy part of the breast here. And you wanna shoot for between 165 and 170 degrees Fahrenheit. When the thermometer reads that, you're good to go. Let it rest for about 30 minutes. And I put a piece of foil over it to kind of help insulate the heat. And that resting, what it does is it allows the juices to kind of like redistribute. All right, chef, let's get to cutting. If you're gonna cut this and you wanna cut it off the bird and you're gonna serve people, um, the thing that I would recommend first is kind of like break off this, the wing tip, kind of get that out of the way. And so the first thing that we do is you cut straight into the bottom because now you're starting to release the breast and then you slice down. But try to keep it going as it starts to separate. You no, know, we'll, we'll build a plate, but while we're building a plate and we're looking at all these sides, you know, if, when you're looking for ideas, you need tips, you, you need to re review some of what we talked about here, you can go to foodland.com and we have a recipe section. And so you can get recipe, we have turkey recipes, I got a ton of side recipes. We like to think of ourselves as the place that, you know, we're all about food in all forms. So you can get the raw ingredients, but if you don't want to do the cooking, or the baking, you can come to one of our stores and pre-order. We have a lot of different options. All right, well, thank you so much, Chef. And don't forget this holiday season, Foodland has got you covered. However you want to do it, just eat, drink, share, and, and be mele. Happy holidays. Brought to you by Foodland. Quitting tobacco is key to protecting our health and the health of our loved ones, but the Tobacco Quit Line is here to help. We've got Lila Johnson, who is with the Department of Health. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, thank you for inviting us. Tobacco is the number one cause of preventable death and disease in Hawaii and in this country. And so the best thing anybody can do for their health if they're a smoker is to quit smoking. And the Hawaii Tobacco Quit Line is here to help you. And tell me about what you folks are offering. Yes, there, there, are, there are seven programs. There's a starter program for persons who are just thinking that they may want to quit, and they can get counseling, and they can get two weeks worth of prevention medications, which are nicotine replacement therapy. There's the regular program, which is for persons who are 18 and over and are committed that they want to quit in 30 days. And you get free counseling, you get five sessions of counseling, you can get free nicotine replacement therapy. We have the gum, we have the patch, and we have the lozenge, and you have a combination of that. We have programs for women who are pregnant or wishing to become pregnant, and there are five very specific counseling sessions to help them with that. Persons who have behavioral health issues, whether it be mental illness or be it um, substance use, can have up to seven counseling sessions. And then we have a young adult program for persons between the age of 18 and 24, and those are five sessions. The teen line is the latest one. It's called My Life, My Quit. And it's for 
young people 17 ages and under and it provides five sessions, it provides counseling, it provides incentives, it provides options to help young people, particularly those who are vaping. It's not the smoker who is the problem, it's the smoking itself. And nicotine is the addictive substance in tobacco that just makes it so very, very, very hard to quit. And so we tell folks the best thing they can do for their health right now is to quit, to quit smoking. And it takes many times for some people to be able to quit, but to be able to have counseling as well as nicotine replacement therapy really makes quitting so much easier and more effective and it lasts longer. Lila, if people want to get more information or if they want to sign up for one of the seven programs, where can they go? All they need to do is go to their phone and dial 1-800-QUIT-NOW. It's the same number all around the country, but if you're calling from Hawaii with an 808 area code, you will get counselors that are based in Hawaii. You can also go online at hawaiitobaccoquitline.org. If someone would like to contact the youth program, that's My Life, My Quit, you can go online to mylifemyquit.org. Awesome. Thank you so much for all the resources that you folks have for our community. We'll have all the information up on highnowdaily.com. Voted best real estate firm for the 12th year in a row, Locations is looking to welcome new talent to their team. We're looking for both inexperienced and experienced agents looking to make this a full-time profession. We're looking for team players. Um, this can be an industry that's very in individualistic driven, a lot of individual accolades, but the way we approach the business is very much from a team-oriented aspect. Well, our mission is to serve our clients uh, with excellence through customized training and systems. Those systems in include everything from coaching to great uh, CRM systems to manage your client database, uh, great technology tools that arm our clients to be better prepared for what's going on in the marketplace. And it's ongoing training. To provide value to your customers, you constantly have to keep learning and keep adding that value to your customers. You know, that whole environment that you have here help foster that growth. You can learn from others who have a history of being in the business faster than you can, you know, read about it. So what's really nice is our culture of sharing. We, we definitely compete externally, not within, and that allows us to learn faster, shorten the learning curve for our, our professionals. We pride ourselves in a great, excellent service, and that results in our agents selling more at a faster pace, at a highest price, at the soonest amount of time. We touch one in every five transactions in, in the state. A unique uh, feature about our company is that we offer partnership. As a partner in the company, you have the opportunity to be own a stake in the company. When the company prospers, so do you. And, but you also, it's more than just that prosperity. It's, it's also you have a voice in, in the direction that the company is headed. So we look for that type of leadership from our partnership group to help us put forth together the best things that we can to succeed in this industry. One of the things that I really love about the company is the heart with which we serve. And our nonprofit arm, the Locations Foundation, has been something that I hold dear to my heart and one of the reasons I really enjoy being at this company. Through the foundation, we're able to support communities, families and children within the communities and to give back. We believe that it's, it starts with there and that allows us to build these communities and you wouldn't have housing without these communities. So our, our industry directly ties into that, that service. One thing that really sets us apart as a, as a company in this industry is that, you know, our local ties to the community. We are locally owned, we have a stake in, in, in what we do in this community. We take that with great pride and everything that we build for our agents is designed to help them service that customer to the very best. Yeah, people want to learn more about joining our team as an agent, as an employee, you can check us out at careers at locationshawaii.com. Brought to you by Locations. Now, Weekender, I have to introduce you to someone so special right here. I mean, just winning last week, Pacific Edge Media's Entrepreneur of the Year, female <laughs> Entrepreneur of the Year, I should say. Uh, we've got Jaylene Kanani, and she's also the founder of Noho Home. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, congratulations. Oh, mahalo. Thank you very much. 
much. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's a little overwhelming. Uh, you're so humble because you're like, oh, thank you. But yeah. it's a big deal. And we're just so proud of you, you know. So, I mean, you put beautiful things out there in our community to take home. And I'm talking about Noho Home. So let's talk a little bit about uh, your company and, and how you got your name, Noho Home. Oh, yes. So um, amongst other things, Noho in Olalo Hawaii means to, uh, to dwell to sit with it within, to exist, you know, to sit with a thought or a feeling. Um, and really that sense of dwelling and existing um, is what we wanted to bring into our homes, into our hale. Um, so noho home or noho home, if you're Olala Hawaii, um, really speaks to how you can connect in your own home, um, you know, with your ohana, with your friends and family that come here. We're just really looking to be able to create opportunities for connection. Um, and tell unique, interesting stories. And I love that because all of these products that you, you have, you bring it back into your home, whether it be your bedroom or your bathroom, and you can you know sit with that right there. And it's relaxing candles yes. and beautiful um, <laughs> you know sheets and covers. So just tell me about uh, some of the items that you think would be great to give out this holiday season because we are now sure. doing high now holiday picks and <laughs> this right here is some holiday picks for you. Yes, okay, so we have um, you know, our, our, our best sellers and everyone loves are bedding. So we have 100% comb cotton sateen buttery soft sheets, comforters, duvet covers. Um, our comforters have a very light fill specifically for the warmer weather climate. Um, and people just really um, love not only the feel of it and the quality and performance, but also the designs. So this one here today is our, um, our Malahia. Um, and really we like to tell a story around um, the uh, experience uh, of going to bed and, and really kind of uh, falling into that, uh, those memories and those places and those feelings that you that you want. I love that, and I gotta say, Kainoa raves about his Noho Home mm. Home yeah. um, cover. He talks about it all the time, and then of course he had a newborn. He's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> we gotta we just spread, you know, put the baby on the side because I mean it's so luxurious. He's like, I gotta I gotta separate that. You know, babies can be a little messy, right? <laughs> oh yes, but we have dog lovers who are you know they <laughs> love it. They love it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've also got some candles here. Tell me about that. Yes, yeah, so we have um, an assortment of candles, and actually for the holidays we have our gift set um, with uh, votives that have three different, uh, that highlight our three different scents, Picake, uh, Gardenia, and then my personal favorite, Pua Kenny Kenny. Ooh, this one's nice. Yes. And this one, yeah, is the Pua Kenny Kenny. That is the Pua Kenny yeah. Kenny, and then we have the diffuser. That's uh, perfect. Yes. Um, and then we also have our Made in Hawaii soap, uh, when all of the three scents as well. Awesome, and then down here we've got some really festive pillows, and I heard these are hot sellers, so if you don't have one and you want one, you gotta move fast. <laughs> yes, so we've actually already, uh, on our pre-sales, have sold out, um, <laughs> but we, and we also have a, a very, very small amount of Made in Hawaii today, and, um, but yes, um, so we have our uh, Kokio Ula Ula, we have our Wauke pattern, um, as well as our Kui, um, and in an assortment of Christmas colors. Um, uh, it's gonna, yeah. you, know, you just mentioned you're at Made in Hawaii, so that's gonna be yes. today. So if you wanna get anything here, you gotta run down to Made in Hawaii, and that's at Ala Moana Center. So go ahead and check out Noho Home and pick up something really special for that special loved one or friend in your family. You can also ship it abroad and send it uh, to your folks there. But you can be found at Home World, you can be found um, at Noel no, no. Designers, and you just saw them, so you can go in and grab some stuff there. And on top of that, you are also at Bloomingdale's and online. Yes. 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 Okay. Cool. And then, I mean, for some other people that you're thinking of in the in the family, some other ideas um, that you can give people this holiday season. Are you guys? Have, do you guys have gift cards or anything? Absolutely. So we have gift cards. Um, you know, home space. A lot of people like to um, uh, choose their own colors and patterns. So please, um, gift cards. We love them. And then we also have. Beautiful um, kitchen textiles, which for the holidays um, to decorate your holiday table are, is, is beautiful. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me, bringing um, us some really cool ideas. But we also, you know, we want to talk about the season of giving. And you guys are giving up a $100 gift card. So you want to head over to our Hi Now Instagram. You can like the post, then tag two friends, and you could win that $100 gift card. Uh, it's going to be really, really awesome if you do, because then 
the gifts they're taking care of this year, right? Yes. At Noho Home. So go yes. ahead and check that out. Thank you so much for joining me. And again, Thank congratulations you. on winning the Pacific Edge Media mm -hmm. Woman Entrepreneur of the Year. We've got <laughs> Jaylene Kanani here. We're going to have everything up on HainalDaily.com. Mahalo. Hey, how's it? Aloha, gang. Today on Hainau, we are hitting the windward side. We're in Kailua, and with over 125 shops and restaurants to choose from, there's a lot to do. But if you're looking for a unique craft beer experience, Grace and Growlers has got you covered. Let's head inside. We are on the tap room side inside Grace and Growlers. We're joined right now by one of the owners. This is Tim Veeling, and it's uh, you and Holly, correct? Correct. My wife and I own Grace and Growlers. Yeah. That's right. So for people who don't know, Tim, tell our viewers about Grace and Growlers. So we are a self-serve craft beer tasting room. Uh, you pour the beer yourself, you pay by the ounce, and we call it uh, craft beer with a purpose because our profits go to support community service initiatives. And that's what I think is so incredible about this place. And that ties into this whole idea of beer with a purpose. What does that mean? My wife and I initially started Grace and Growlers to fund our community service work that we were trying to accomplish. Before we opened the business, we were doing uh, homeless people's laundry and we wanted to be self-sustaining. We wanted, we didn't want to have to ask for government grants or, or donations, so we wanted to start a for-profit company that actually funneled all of their profits into community service work or nonprofit work. My wife and I has always had full-time jobs outside of here, so this was kind of like our side full-time job. Correct me if I'm wrong, you folks don't even collect really a, a paycheck from this place. Yeah, correct. Uh, we were always very specific about not taking away from the profits by paying ourselves. Um, just because uh, some people, when they find out that our, where our profits are going, they kind of ask, okay, cool, but how much money are you making? And we always wanted to be like, nothing. We pay for the, the beer and the, the utilities and rent and employees and then whatever's left over we try to funnel to um, people who need it more than we do. Can you walk us through some of this bread? What do we have here on the table? Well yeah I mean so what we like to do at Grace is really support people who are like us. Independent companies who are just trying to make a really good product and be a part of their community. What we try to feature every time is independent beer. Uh, the Brewers Association certifies certain breweries to be independent. Um, and that means basically there's no ties to huge corporate conglomerations. It's people like us who are just community members just trying to make a difference and pay their employees and, and try to build something special rather than take over the world. But now one of the additional pivots that Grayson Growlers made just in this last year and a half was uh, the food side aspect. Explain what's taking place with the bagels and what do you guys have on the other side? COVID allowed me to do a career pivot and that's called MTL Bagels. Basically taught myself how to make bagels. It's kind of taken off and it's been really fun. Six years ago when we were open, there was no real craft beer centric place in Kailua. But finally, fast forward six years later, we're doing so good and it's so amazing to see all of these companies popping up and doing really, really good. Brought to you by Alexander and Baldwin. November is Men's Health Awareness Month, and I've got a special guest here in the studio. It's Dr. Patrick Cho, president of Activation Clinic. Now, this segment may be sensitive for some viewers, but men, listen up. Dr. Cho has made some serious breakthroughs uh, on how to optimize men's health and peak performance. So, Doc, for people who don't know, tell our viewers about the Activation Clinic. So, Activation Clinic is an anti-aging and regenerative medicine clinic. Uh, and essentially, we have procedures that help your body to do what it used to do without the use of drugs or, or surgery. Uh, now, Doc, uh, he is the only certified physician in the state of Hawaii who can do Gaines Wave and P shot, right? That's important. That's important. So you want to find a doctor who's certified and trained because they are both medical procedures. And it's important to find a doctor who knows what he's doing and using the proper equipment. Uh, you want to make sure it's an FDA cleared medical device for safety reasons. Okay, Doc, let's start with the Gaines Wave procedure first. Tell us, tell us about that. So Gaines Wave uses low intensity pulsatile sound waves and it helps to address the root cause of erectile dysfunction, which is poor circulation. So the Gaines Wave does three things. Number one, it clears the blood vessels that you currently have, so it can increase circulation. Number two, it helps to uh, stimulate the production of new blood vessels to the area down there. And lastly, it helps to regeneration of healthy tissue. Doc, what about the P-Shot? So P-Shot or Pre-Epis Shot uses uh, what's called PRP or platelet-rich plasma. So platelets contain growth factors to help stimulate uh, production of new blood vessels and also stimulates uh, regeneration of healthy tissue. 
So both procedures are great, they work great on their own, but when you combine the two together, they have what's called synergy. It helps even better. So we've seen a great response with the combination therapy. So patients seem to respond better when, when you combine the two therapies together. Absolutely. Now, Doc, how do uh, these procedures dif differ than other medication that people can get, like Viagra or other things on the market? Yeah, so the Viagra, things like that are temporary Band-Aid. Doesn't really address the root cause. So both procedures help to increase circulation, helps to address the root cause, which is uh, circulation, and helps to increase performance. Uh, now, Doc, it's also important to know that uh, really, in terms of age ranges, that's the misconception. Really, ED affects everyone, right? It does. It's, it's a very common problem. And NIH did a study and it showed that over 30 million men in America alone are affected by it, but people don't like to talk about it. So we do have a wide range. We have from 20 to 80 year olds. Uh, the, usually the younger patients want increased performance right. and the older patient, it helps to address the, uh, the erectile dysfunction and help them to perform better. Because it's very important, it, you know, patients get uh, anxiety, stress. Mm -hmm. it, it, a man who has this problem is like a defeated man. So this, we help to get men to get their confidence back and it helps relationships and the strains that it can cause. Love supporting small local businesses just like that barn Hawaii, a native Hawaiian ohana owned shop with deep roots in Kailua. Our store, That Barn Hawaii, carries Kupanaha products. It's basically two names in one, That Barn Hawaii Kupanaha products. We're known for all of our Kalo products, down from Pa'iai to Poi to Kulolo to Kalopa'a. So we do that uh, weekly. Every Thursday, we have it fresh in store. Our products are basically from home. A lot of it comes from our farm. We also support a bunch of other farms as well. But our Kalo comes from home as well as from Hakipu'u area. It comes from Maui, comes from Big Island. Kalo takes a long time. It's nine months to basically huli it, right? We get it from all over, wherever it's seasonal. But it's all family farms that we deal with. Uh, when it comes to our jams and butters, I mean, we, we get that all from home. That's seasonal as well. Whatever fruits we have on the farm is what we make with it. So Lily Koi butter is one of our biggest. Uh, Kona coffee, we get that from Kona. But then we have our guava, which is a big hit. Our store is like the modern mom and pop store from before, you know, like we wanted to bring that homey feeling. We wanted it to look almost like grandma's backyard. It's a big deal to be Native Hawaiian and to actually have a store, let alone a, a brick and mortar in Kailua of all places. But um, I mean, if God wants us here, then we're going to be here. We're from Waimanalo originally. I'm born and raised there. Uh, my family, mother and father's side is both from Kailua, the Stevensons and the Kalamas. We're very familiar with Kailua. It's a special place to us. As soon as we found this location, we were like, hey, this is home for us. We wanted it to be a comfortable setting for everybody, a safe setting, safe environment, and you know, being able to support our community from Waimanalo, Kaneohe, Kahalu. Kailua kind of was neutral. So upcoming for our holiday from October basically to January, we have, it's called basket season, which is our jams and butters, and we do these these big baskets. We'll be having cornucopias, floral table runners, our dry wreaths, as well as upcoming florals that we're, we're putting together. You can follow us at That Barn Hawaii. Uh, Kupanaha products, either or, you can search both handles. Our number is 808-260-1371. That's probably your best bet. You could reach Joe and he'll answer everybody's calls. He's the face of our store. Everybody knows Joe, like they just love him. Our address is 146 Hekili Street. Uh, we're suite 104 downstairs. We're basically in between uh, the old bowling alley, Holly Bowling Alley and HIC. Just come on in and you know, be comfortable. We have the chairs here and there. We have a lot of elderly and kupuna that come in. So we actually serve them before our opening hours of nine. So they're here by seven and it's, it's just a homey place. Definitely a small family owned business between me and my husband and my kids. Brought to you by Alexander and Baldwin. Aloha and welcome back to High Now Weekender. We're entering the cold weather season, so you might want some tea, 
some honey to put inside, and we've got you covered. We got a Tobin Wynn here of Winwood Farms out on the Big Island, and you brought some stuff with you, but I first wanted to talk about your guys' farm and how you got started. Well, you know, we started, uh, the farm actually, the farm actually started in 2016. The company was founded in, uh, in 2018, and uh, we did not come to Hawaii with the, uh, with the idea of having a farm in mind, but that's where we ended up. We absolutely love it. It's fun and uh, exciting. Awesome. So on your farm, you guys have a bunch of different types of teas that you guys have. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the things that you guys carry and, of course, how you got Wynwood Farms. You were telling me that earlier and I thought it was really cute. <laughs> well, our last name is Wynn and the first piece of property that we bought in Hawaii was on Glenwood on the Hilo side of the Big Island. And uh, my wife said, how about Wynwood on Glenwood? And it kind of stuck. It so. kind of stuck. But also, you said your wife's the boss, so she said that's the name and you said okay, right? She's always been the boss, probably always will be. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, the boss is that made in Hawaii, and she's holding it down because you guys are going to be there today and tomorrow. But first, let's talk about some of the things that you're going to be carrying down awesome. there and some ideas for gifts that you can give out this year. Absolutely. And we have a lot of specials uh, at uh, Made in Hawaii today and tomorrow. But I brought three uh, samples of three di different teas and our matcha. The Meet Me in Paradise is a black tea uh, that has mango, a lot of fruity. It's going to be a, a tropical type flavor. Mm -hmm. If you would like to smell it, so it's just absolutely. Uh, it's Mmm, ooh, yeah, that is a little fru uh, fruity. Meet me in paradise, it says. <laughs> well, I'm already here, guys, so all right. <laughs> now, what you got next? So this one is our uh, Sandman Sister. This is a very relaxing, it's very good for anxiety or a nighttime tea, get you relaxed before bed. It's, uh, there's no caffeine, nothing like that in it, but it's very good for you. And if That's you so. want to relax, this is the one for you. Right. Sandman Sister. Sandman Sister. Mm, how'd you get that name? The wife. Got it, got it. <laughs> I like that. Ooh. That's a, not as floral or fruity as, as this one here, but I like that. I can see where you can relax. I don't, not, I'm not sure if there's any lavender or anything There's in there. lavender, chamomile, rose, and heather. Ah, that's what I'm getting, the lavender, lavender. and the chamomile. Absolutely. That's coming in really strong. I like this a lot. Mm, so that's for relaxation, winding down at night. Absolutely. This you can even give to the kids if you want it because there's no caffeine in this, No right? caffeine. No caffeine. No caffeine. All right. So, this tea is very special, named by, named and blended by my daughter, but this has mamaki, which if you uh, don't know, it is 100% uh, endemic Hawaiian. It only grows in Hawaii, but it also has hibiscus and peppermint. Yeah. It's a great, if you're, if you're, if you're uh, sensitive to caffeine, it's a great morning tea. It'll give you energy uh, without the caffeine. It'll give you mamaki, it's great for alertness. Mamaki's also great for doing things like lowering your blood pressure and lowering cholesterol. It's an amazing plant. Been used here in Hawaii for thousands of years, but it's getting very popular on the mainland as well now. I love that. A ton of health benefits in every single one of these teas. Absolutely. And then on top of that, tell us about your special honey. You were telling me this is one of a kind. So this honey is Kiave honey. It comes from the north side of the Big Island. Um, it comes out of a, a hive, almost white. It crystallizes almost immediately. Uh, a very rich taste, very buttery. Great to put on your bread in the morning. Would you like to taste it? I would absolutely love to taste that. You said buttery. Am I going to still need to add butter or absolutely not on my not. toast? No, I don't You'll need You'll never to. add butter again after this. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> and I love my butter. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Mm. Very rich. Mm-hmm, this is rich, I like this. Yeah, and I like it's thick, mm. buttery. That's exactly how I, I would describe it. Perfect on your bread, your toast, and of course inside your teas. Awesome, so. well this is awesome. Where can we find you folks if people wanna grab some stuff? Absolutely, we're at Kaka'ako Farmer's Market every Saturday. Every Saturday, farm lovers, and also Kailua on Sunday. And of course, today and tomorrow, you can find us at the Made in Hawaii uh, event. Uh, at Ala Moana, so please come by, stop by and see us. Awesome. You're gonna be there again today, tomorrow, pick up all kinds of good teas and honeys, but on top of that, we're giving away two gift baskets worth $100 each to Wynwood Farms. And I mean, there's mamaki tea, mamacha tea, there's the honey in here, kiave honey. I mean, you don't wanna miss this deal right here. You can win, again, one of these gift baskets valued at $100. 
And um, you just gotta go to our Hi Now Instagram and just like the post and go ahead and tag two friends, all right? So go ahead and do that. Again, Hi Now Instagram page. And go ahead and get one of these gift baskets. But thank you so much for joining me. Go and see this guy at Made in Hawaii Festival or uh, hundreds of other uh, local products right at Ala Moana Center. <laughs>
all the products there. And of course, we've got A1 Oliver. Emma, you are part of uh, the program. So tell me about your experience and how Mana Up kind of just helped you out and lifted up your, your business. Yes, I was thrilled to be part of this year's Mana Up cohort. They do such amazing things for helping local entrepreneurs to grow their business. And then this whole showcase allowed so much of the local community to come and shop small and shop local from Hawaii-based entrepreneurs. So I was so excited to be a part of it. Awesome, and you were talking about you can still experience this magic of the Mana Up 2022 showcase uh, because we are going to be uh, airing the premiere of that on KTNL 8 p.m. on November 20th, and you don't want to miss it. They, and if you do, though, there's two other shots that you have um, later on that week. So you want to make sure and you check out the Mana Up 2022 showcase, but also we're going to be giving, uh, giving away on our Hi Now Instagram $100 worth of Ava and Oliver products. You can see that right here on the table. Uh, again, $100 worth of Ava and Oliver products by Emma Wo. And I mean, so amazing. This is for the cakey right here, but yeah. I mean, you can even use it for yourself. You know, you can uh, take a little snack and take that to, to work. You can, you know, take the kids to the beach with a little bucket there. So, so much good stuff um, on, with the showcase, the Mana Up 2022 showcase. But thank you ladies so much for joining me today. Had so much fun talking story with you. Thank Thanks you so much. Awesome, well, we're gonna have this entire segment up on highnowdaily.com, mahalo. Hey, how's it all gang? Today on High Now, we wanted to remind you folks, okay, the Hawaii International Film Festival is midway, so if you haven't participated yet, you still got a chance. This is Becky, this is Kea Aloha. Uh, Becky, we'll start with you. Can you let our viewers know how has the reception been with HIF? 42nd year, right? It's so incredible to see everyone come out to the theaters this year. We have so many things going on. It's our closing weekend here on Oahu and Honolulu for, yes, our 42nd Hawaii International Film Festival presented by Hale Kalani. Um, I could not be more excited for all of the incredible things we have going on this weekend. There's so much going on. Please check it out. We still have two days here in Honolulu before we move to our neighbor islands um, where we're showing a number of local films and international films as well, including uh, spotlighting the film, The Story of Everything. Very cool. And we have Kealoha here to tell us a little bit about The Story of Everything. So what inspired the film? Um, the film was inspired uh, when uh, I found out I was going to be a father. So about 11 years ago, um, I started to think about like, what is the information that I can pass on to the future generations and to my child. I started with the question of, you know, one day this child's going to ask me where we come from. Dad? Yes, my love. Where do we come from? And for me, um, I subscribed to science. So I started to explain to him uh, through the scientific lens where we came from, but it ended up being a creation story that was told in poetry and storytelling and dance and then visual arts and special effects. And it, it, it's something that, it's a creation story that follows the science of how we got here. So it starts with the Big Bang and journeys through 13.8 billion years worth of time, but it's told in an hour and 45 minutes. Hey, that is a good deal right there. <laughs> well, what do you hope, Kayla, when people watch the story of everything, what do you hope that they walk away with? I hope they walk away with a sense of hope for the future um, and a sense of belonging in this universe and how we can interrelate with each other. The funding originally was from a Native Arts and Cultures Foundation grant, and it was a community in inspiration idea. So it was like, how can we shift society um, and that's what I want people to get from this. Um, and then uh, another nonprofit, Engage with the Census Foundation, came and turned it into a film to give us a broader reach around the world. That's incredible. So make sure you catch it. And as we know, Becky, back over to you. Uh, the Hawaii International Film Festival, we're talking about another local nonprofit organization. It needs support, it needs kokua cool from the community. So if people want to participate, how do they do it? Where do they go? We are here in Honolulu at the Doris Duke Theater and the Consolidated Kahala Theaters this weekend. And then we move to our neighbor island screenings. We're at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center, um, the Hilo Palace on Big Island, and the Waimea Theater on Kauai from November 17th through the 20th, as well as streaming on online through November 27th at www.hip.org. Becky, Kealoha, mahalo so much for being here. And don't forget, get out there, support our filmmakers. We'll have all this up on highnowdaily.com. For the last decade, AMB has been investing in the Kailua community by supporting small local businesses and preserving the rich Hawaiian culture and heritage. And I'm here at HIC, one of the longest running stores in Kailua Town. I've got Mitch McEwen here. How long have you folks been here? Well, HIC started in Kailua by two Kailua brothers, Stephen and Jimmy Sukiyama, in 1971, actually on Uluniu Street. Mm -hmm. And then in 1973, 
we moved into this building. And this, as part of our 50th anniversary celebration, we remodeled the whole building. We did the outside, inside the building. We got a whole new inside of the store. The outside of the building looks great. So we worked closely with A&B and a local Kailua artist, uh, Sarah Safari, to create murals on both the Makai and Mauka sides of the building. And she relied on um, old stories, mele, myths about Kailua and the Hawaiian history in Kailua. And that's what she wanted to put into the murals. And then she worked with uh, Hawaii muralist Kamea Hadar to actually get the, her artwork onto the side of the building. The murals just look great and have become just a really great addition to Kailua. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I created something that honors the history and the culture and the people here, um, specifically the Native Hawaiian community. I grew up dancing hula, and so what I did was I revisited some of those mele, read up on the, the mo'olelo and the stories of Kailua. This is the Kauai Nui that I showcase, and it's kind of the, the focal point of everything. We have this um, wahine, her name is Hawahine, and she's actually the mo'o guardian of the Kauai Nui. She's looking over Kailua. She's looking at the, the people who are in the lo'i. There's people fishing, and just she's happy because people are taking care of this place. So basically, the, the takeaway from learning more about her um, is that, you know, we need to take care of this place and take care of the land and take care of each other. And we will live very abundant lives if we do that, you know, so. What's really cool is we are taking um, artwork from the mural, creating products to sell in the store, and proceeds from those products are going to help the Ulupo Heiau, which is a local Kailua Heiau, so it has a lot of significance for the Kailua community. Awesome, and I just gotta ask, you know, you've been here in Kailua for a very long time. Just tell me about how amazing the community is out here. It's been great for us, and it was actually, we were remodeling the store throughout the pandemic, and the support of the local community was just incredible. It really carried us through that period, and now here we are, you know, coming out the other side better than ever. Brought to you by Alexander and Baldwin. Celebrate the holidays with Nahoku Hanohano Award-winning group Naleo Pilimehana. Saturday, December 17th at the Hawaii Convention Center. Enjoy a beautiful dinner buffet, live show, and a guest performance by Mauna Lua. Tickets on sale now. Join us for this special holiday celebration. One night only. Naleo Pimehana, Saturday, December 17th at 7 p.m. Man, I'm holding back singing every single Naleo song right now. I love them and I can't wait for this concert. It's going to be fantastic. But we are giving away five pairs of tickets to some lucky winners. Enter to win on our Instagram. All you got to do is like the video and then comment your favorite song. I know there's a ton of them, but they're all very good. So every answer will count. And you can do that now until November 24th. General admission tickets are now available. So go ahead and get that. Doors will open for general admission at 6.45 p.m. You got 15 minutes to go to the bar, grab some signature cocktails and light refreshments. They will be available for purchase. And then that concert's gonna start at 7 p.m. Parking's available at the convention center for 12 bucks. Uh, tickets are available right now, hawaiiconvention.com. Thank you so much for joining me today on High Now Weekender. We will have Kainoa back on Monday. So for all you Kainoa Carlson fans, He'll be back, don't you worry. Thank you so much to all of our guests today. Noho Home, Noel Designers. We had Winwood Farms from the Big Island in our farmer's market finds. And we've also had Mana Up. They are doing their 2022 showcase. So make sure you head to our Instagram for all the giveaways so that you can win some cool stuff. We're going to have everything up on HighNowDaily.com. I will see you on Monday. Mahalo. Bye. Wait, 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 I got it, I got it. Wait, wait, there it is. <laughs> oh, oh you got, got it, got it, got it, oh. It's wounded, it's wounded. Yeah, Kenny, yeah, Kenny.